Hi, hello, welcome to Maths Guru channel. In this video, I am going to explain exercise 15.6 first question. Find the sum of integers which are divisible by 5 from 1 to 100. So, sum of uh, from 1 to 100 which are divisible by 5 we can take as a multiple of 5. So, multiple of 5 we can take the numbers. Those are only which divisible by 5. Yes or no? So, I took that numbers. So, multiples of 5 means 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 like that will be up to 100. No? So, we can't write up to 100. No? We can write but it will take time. Right? So, I took like this. So now after this, you in from this all the terms we can take 5 common, right? Now it will become 5 into 1 plus 2 plus 3. Why? Because 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15. Okay, like that. So here 100 is there, no? So 5 20 is a 100, 5 20 is a 100. So 20 will come here. Now this bracket value, once look at here, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 20, right? So, for sum of n terms formula, sum of n terms formula n into n plus 1 by 2. We should use this formula for this bracket, okay. So, 5 as it is into 20, n, n means 20. Here, n is equals to 20, last term of 20, okay. So, n 20, n 20 plus 1 by 2, okay, 5 as it is. Now, 5 into 20 into 20 plus 1, 21 by 2, right? Now, 2 ones are 2, 10 are 20. So, 5 into 10 into 21, okay? So, if you multiply 5 tens are 50 into 21. If you multiply, you will get 1050. Zero, zero. If you multiply, means 1050 you will get. So, the sum of integers which are divisible by 5 from uh, 1 to 100 is 1050 okay next second question see here second question find the sum of integers which are divisible by 5 sorry which are divisible by 2 from 11 to 50 right now 11 to 50 numbers which are divisible by 2 so we should take uh, multiples of 2 but after 11 we should take before 11 we should not take why because they give a from 11 from 11 to 50 so divisible by two numbers those are 12 14 16 18 20 22 like that up to 50 okay so we should take now we should we should separate the numbers 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus like that up to 50 uh, minus 2 mi uh, minus 2 plus 4 plus 6 like that minus number minus up to 10 okay why because why we are subtracting 10 up to 10 1 to 10 we are subtracting which are divisible by 2 those are 2 4 6 8 like that no why because from 10 only no from 10 from 11 only we should take so 11 before numbers all we should subtract from this number okay now here if you take two common remaining numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 25 now minus 2 here 2 common 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 5 only 2 5 is a 10 2 25 is a 50 right like that so here in this this bracket we can use sum of n terms formula this bracket and this bracket okay so 2 as it is so here last term n is equal to 25 now here last term n is equal to 5 okay so now substitute 2 as it is 2 into here n 25 into 25 plus 1 by 2 minus 2 into 5 into 5 plus 1 by 2 okay now 2 2 will get cancelled here also 2 2 will get cancelled now 25 into 26 minus here 5 into 6 now 25 into 26 650 minus 5 6 is 30 650 minus 30 620 will come okay so uh, the num the sum of integers which are divisible by 2 from 11 to 50, 620. Okay. Once you can take the screenshot. Two questions. Next, third question. See. Find the sum of integers which are divisible by 2 from, which are divisible by 2 
and 3 from 1 to 50. 2 and 3, both numbers. So, from 1 to 50. Okay, next video I will explain. Uh, once, uh, fourth question. See, n cube minus n is divisible by 3. Explain the reason. See here. n cube minus n is divisible by 3. Here, n cube minus n you can take. And from these two terms, you can take n common. Remaining is n square minus n. n into n. This n square as it is. This one I am writing as 1 whole square. So, it is in the form of a square minus b square. No. So, that a plus b into a minus b. Where a is equal to n, b is equal to 1. So, n into here n plus 1 into n minus 1. Now, n minus 1. Just to product I am writing. First minus number. n minus 1 into n into n plus 1. Okay. Which is product of 3 consecutive integers. Which is always divisible by 3. Okay. Next. Uh, next question. See. Sum of an odd number of consecutive numbers is divisible by n. Explain the reason. Here, see, let the n odd consecutive integers x, x plus 1, x plus 2 up to x plus n minus 1. Now, sum, sum we should take x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 up to x plus n minus 1. Now, all x, x and n times, x we can take n times, separate I, I am writing. Next to 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1. Now this x is a, n times nx plus this for this we can use the formula sum of n terms. So n is last term that is n minus 1. Now nx plus n minus 1 into here n minus 1 plus 1 by 2. In Instead of n I am writing n minus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled. So nx plus n minus 1 by 2. Okay. This n will be. So nx plus n into n minus 1 by 2 is the answer. In this each term being divisible by n. Okay. Next. Sum so, of is this numbers divisible by 5 explain okay these are the 1 power 11 2 power 11 3 power 11 4 power 11 will be now. so is divisible by the sum of all these numbers divisible by 5 or not they are asking so in 1 power 11 unit place digit is 1 right so 2 power 11 unit place digit is 8 once you can multiply 1 power 11 you can multiply so 1 into 1 into 1 it up to 11 times you can multiply right so if you multiply you will get answer 1 only how many times you can multiply you will get answer 1 only in this answer one's place digit is 1 only no in the similar way 2 power 11 2 you should multiply 11 times so units place digit is 8 okay now 3 power 11 units place digit is 7 4 power 11 units place digit is 4. Now sum of all units digits. See you can add all these numbers. 1 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4. So which will give 20. Now in this answer. In 20 units place digit is 0. See 1's place. Units place digit means what? 1's place digit is 0. Which means the entire number divisible by 5. Why? Because if any number unit place digit is 0, then that number is divisible by 5. S yes or no? That's what in this given number unit place digit is 0. So that is divisible by 5. So entire this whole number is divisible by 5. Okay? Now when you can take the screenshot. These are the solutions of the particular questions. Okay? I hope you understood. Thank you.